Hi there, sign of Pisces. This is Kim here to do your reading. Hope you're doing really well. This is, um, well, a spirit guided message for you because your card popped out along with Gemini's card. I've already given a message for Gemini when I asked who to pull for. So I'm guessing that that's going to be part of your message is having to do with a Gemini. And um, so I'm pulling from the Sacred Spirit Oracle deck. Dark Knight of the Soul. Oh. 11. Life brings new meaning. It sure does. Especially if you're in one of those states. Um, challenging. Really challenging. Emotional challenges. 13. It says resolve the issue. Emotional challenges resolve the issue. And 11, the dark night of the soul, life brings new meaning. Um, so, you know, sacred spirit. All right, so obviously there is something very, um, wow, look at, do you see how that? that head it looks like there's a head formed like with that like it just continues and then there's a head and a, a shoulder mm, this is going through something going through something difficult painful dark Sad. let's see Let's get um, a Celtic cross for you. I've noticed that the signs that I've been pulling for, or the ones that I, keep, that I ask, you know, who needs a message first. Ooh, it's these very, 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 very strong emotional kind of um, messages. Wow. Wow. <clears throat> It feels like there's enlightenment about a lot of different things. Not in a good way. Not in a really good way, though. And it's being a part of something that needs to ha focus on a solution. Yeah, see, this is not good. The um, the five of swords, and I don't mean to make it dark or um, or shadowy at all. It's just that if this is the energy that you're dealing with, then you need to know how, what it is, how to transmute it, and um, what possible could be conflict coming up or at the root of it. It's like um, people are really not getting along, arguing. Um, it, it's a situation that feels so tense that it's like something has to change because you can't live in this energy like this is not good for you you'll get you'll get physically sick if you live in that energy for too long it is conflict of the worst um, type too it's one that it, it feels being pulled almost it feels like it being pulled Well, there's a lot of hope here at the um, at the outcome of this reading, and it is the next 48 hour reading. So hey, things get better probably pretty quickly. Um, the past is the Four of Pentacles, and that is in reverse.
Tell me about the Four of Pentacles in reverse. What kind of a... Um, hmm. It feels like no one's holding the foundation up at this point with the four of pentacles in the reverse. It feels like, okay, who's going to hold up the foundation? So this could be a good thing of moving, you know, on and um, away from attachment to the way that, you know, to thinking things have to be a certain way. It can be about finding, you know, truly like finding your power again. Something's not moving, and that is definitely a, a message here. With the chariot in reverse. Something's not moving for Something didn't move forward. Um, the foundation wasn't strong enough or something like that foundation wasn't strong enough you can have cancer energy or um capricorn what is the hangman energy mm. the nine of cups in the reverse it's something that you're wanting back or something that you uh haven't gotten or there's some kind of dissatisfaction with what you've received um, from yourself it can be indulging in things that aren't good for you with the nine of cups in reverse it can be even indulging in a, a romance that's not loving back it's it can be something like that All right, so what are we waiting on then? Because the hangman here is, is just kind of waiting. And why is the hangman waiting? Because, because the challenge is that somebody is running in place. So they're getting exhausted here. What are you doing? You're, you're waiting. You're waiting for something to be cleaned up. The heart feels like um the heart feels like it wants to detach from something emotionally but doesn't and this can be overindulgence it can be over like overdoing it you know um over consumption it may very well that something like that could have uh, an effect on the travel being canceled or not going anywhere. You gotta let go of, um, I feel like the message is you gotta let go of whatever you're holding in your heart of a time where you overdid it in the past or something that you, you have not, um, really moved past. It's, it's, it's how your heart feels. I feel like it needs to release that the pain of um whatever it was that oh that it usually involves going after your ninth cup or leaving a situation um but this is about a return more than anything Ooh, okay give us um some more messages the eight of cups in the reverse fortune something's about to turn something's going to be very fortunate um you can see through any deception at this time i feel like i feel like there isn't any and you're happy about that that maybe you've been waiting maybe even expecting some kind of deception but there's something that's really being transparent honest the Hermit and the Ace of Wands. Wow, this is a huge Finding Your Passion card. And the Hermit is like, maybe that's where you found it. So here's the opportunity 
the hermit paired with it would be the opportunity to go within and do your own research regarding who you are um, and how you feel about yourself and how to let go um, because if something did overdo it in the past something's not like that anymore with this seven of swords in the reverse <clears throat> No cheating, right? That's how I look at that. It's like, no cheating. Um, the Nine of Swords, again, These. this is when our thoughts can kind of get to us or our thoughts can um, keep us in, in that emotion of helpless in this situation and like what to do. Or I don't know what to do. My hands are tied. I'm kind of helpless. But you can do something. You can visualize with the three of wands focusing on expansion and growth you can um, work on releasing those thoughts that possibly are even causing some big sleep disturbances insomnia depression um, feeling like that it, it, it can even be like the way um, like I can't help but worry about something I can't help but stay up and worry about something. The Page of Swords in the reverse, mm, I feel like a lot of worry or a lot of anger, even resentment of something you can't change is based on some misinformation or a lie or some kind of slander. Page of Swords in the reverse, wow. You feel like something's not fair with justice in the reverse. This is how you're feeling. So you could be feeling off balance. Um, you could be trying to regain balance too with justice in the reverse. You could be thinking that something didn't play out fairly. Tell me about uh, justice in the reverse, more about how Pisces feels. Mm. Something to do with work and your pentacles, putting in the work, the skill level, um, yeah, putting in the work, the skill level, you getting better at what you're doing. So there could be something that maybe happened at a work, at work and feel like it's not fair or something, but keeping your head down on the craft and on what you're doing is probably what's needed. The page of pentacles is, um, I would associate that with like a new adventure. Um, I can imagine, you know, that if you, if it was a new investment, even it would be something that was pretty, um, remarkable, a remarkable adventure. All right. So the four of cups is in reverse. Four of Cups is in the reverse in the environment. Uh, well, you're not holding on to any emotion for very long because you're like, if something bothers me, I'm going and you're retreating into some world inside yourself is what I'm going to say. Um, because things can be like, oh, I'm tired of either the same old thing or just like some kind of major dissatisfaction with how things are in the environment. So, yeah, it feels like you're not being proactive or not, not like wanting to have a strategy to go forward. You don't want to um, even get into these emotions or whatever this is about. Two of cups in the reverse. It might be um, of a partnership that um, is maybe going to end, maybe so that something can begin. <clears throat> that three of wands is like after you've gone through this emotional stuff and you've you know released it and you've gotten through it you're going to feel not only proud of yourself but you're going to realize how um you know big of a manifester you are like how uh, talented Kind of like that person that once they start praying for your good, you do real, real good. You might be one of those people. Six of Swords in the reverse. Um, 
not going to listen to, or you're not going to make the same like mistake as last time is what you're saying. Oh, look at that. And the Knight of Pentacles. And if you may be mirroring, or somebody might be mirroring your situation. You, this success eventually comes. Yeah, you don't go through another storm. Like, there is something new here, and there's something really solid and stable. Um, this Knight of Pentacles is offering something really, like I say, stable. Um, Ace of Swords in the reverse hope or fear so um i feel like that's like being afraid or fearing that something uh, big has been kept from you or that you don't have enough information but i have the sun of pentacles in reverse with the six of wands here as the outcome so hang in there because it's probably just some kind of delay if it has to do with a character who had let you down perhaps in the past um, because of this, this has them coming through for you in the future. Also, the Six of Wands is like, there's some kind of recognition for getting through, even though it was slow, for getting through those energies. Because those are no joke energies. Depending on what your situation is, it's very, this reading is like really heavy. Giving love to yourself is recommended. Giving that cup to yourself right now. Taking really good care of yourself. Um, to a source, moving past a stalemate or a block. Also weighing out your options. Maybe it's different paths. It doesn't have to be. It can be mainly just a decision. Wow. There's Libra, Libra, and there's healing. There's the energy of something really healing. This might be like some kind of weird power struggle that you just like, I don't want to be pulled in the drama and I'm not dealing with it. Maybe you feel like something's unfair, but you also kind of understand this um, universal, you know, everything does balance out and it will, and it will heal. Mind, body, and spirit will heal and you'll get better. So maybe a timeout for no movement is what's important because it looks like your brain's, you know, thinking like fast enough with that nine of swords. Tell me more about um, Son of Pentacle in the reverse. See, good news. And it's connecting that in the reverse to the Knight of Pentacles because it is the good news. And you have Empress energy on the bottom. That's your win. That's your cornucopia. That's a lot. That's having a lot. This is really good. This is really good. I like it. I like your reading. I mean, it's heavy. This is, don't get me wrong. This is a heavy reading, but whew, we got through it. Thanks for showing up and um, spending time with me. Please hit like and share and subscribe. And uh, if you need a private reading, you can reach me in the description box below. You'll find the information. All right. So I have ear. Good news. There's that. It's good news coming. I have lightning. Control your anger or you will be sorry. Pineapple. To reconcile a reconciliation. Broken bridge. Unsuccessful outcome to a problem. Torch. Spiritual development. Enlightenment. Awareness. And understanding. That is coming from this hermit energy and yourself. And I feel like you're this empress energy. While the misunderstanding, that's the Page of Swords in the reverse, that's causing a lot of unnecessary worry. I will say that again. Mountain, major challenge to overcome. And remember, it says overcome in it. So, whew. okay, I have two sevens, two big challenges. 14, you're always open-minded. Up to try something new, yet wise enough to stop and think before you jump into things. This pragmatic approach ensures your time and attention and efforts are meaningful. I am practical. Zero, 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 I am a creator. You are one with the creator. And where there are no limits to what you can achieve, you have the ability to achieve something new and incredible here in your lifetime on earth. I am a creator. And then I have 31, I am disciplined. Your approach to life is an effective mix of both practicality and imagination. 
your mind is stirring with creative ideas and you have all the organizational skills to manifest them to life and here's that mirroring energy <laughs> i am confident 13 you're a conscientious worker with a knack for coming up with creative creative ideas and turning them into something real an optimistic but practical outlook keeps you determined and on track as you work steadily towards your goals i am confident I also have maternal side, spiritual gifts, wisdom, inheritance by the mother's line. I also have aura reader, advisor, photographer, energy reader, YouTube platform, spiritual callings. And then auger, spiritual master, seer, predictions, visionary. And that's what I've got. So sending you love and light. Thanks for joining me, Pisces. Bye-bye.